Okay, Justin Brad with Penalty Box Radio here with Kurt Gosselin. Kurt, I'm going to avoid the questions on, on this game and look forward to the playoffs because that's obviously what everybody's looking forward to now. What are you looking forward to most in the playoffs with this team? Um, well, it's our first time being in the playoffs uh, since I've been here uh, as a freshman. Um, I think the boys are really excited. Uh, really just coming in, it's going to be a th- we got to get three games here, so we've had some issues with uh, getting that second game throughout the season. Um, I think it's just, you know, executing on our chances. Uh, I think tonight you noticed uh, there was times where we weren't executing, and if we were, we would have been right there in the game. And uh, I think coming into playoffs, that's what we got to do. We just got to execute. We got to play three games strong, and you know, whoever up, whoever we're up against, uh, we'll find out tonight. So should be exciting. What does it mean then to, to have to be a leader on this team and to make the playoffs? Um, you know, it's it's awesome. I've uh, it's been a while since we've been in playoffs, and uh, to be able to contribute for my team and uh, bring the seniors right now that are leaving uh, into playoffs is something special. And uh, I hope to do whatever I can to make sure that they get a long, uh, long time here left and uh, enjoy the ride. Excellent. Thanks, sir, for your time. Thank you. All right, we're here with Josh Kessner. Josh, just first of all, we'll focus on the playoffs here. What does it mean for you and this team to be going towards the playoffs? Huge. That's that was the goal at the beginning of the season. We reached our goal, and now now it's time to step up and uh, and take care of business. Whether we play uh, Bowling Green, Mankato, or Northern, we're ready to accept the challenge and uh, move forward and and take take it back here and uh, hopefully hopefully get a couple wins up there. And as a senior, you're playing your last regular season home game. What does it mean to you to be a part of this organization and to be able to actually reach that goal of making the playoffs? Amazing. It's a little bit emotional, a little bit of heartbreak, kind of mixed emotions here, but it was a great four years. Couldn't have asked for better. Um, but at the same time, it was, it was bitter how it ended. But at the same time, like you said, we reached, reached our goal, and now we're ready for the next step. Excellent, Josh. Congratulations on making the playoffs, and good luck in them. Awesome. Thank you. All right, we're here with Brandon Parker. Brandon? into the playoffs now. What are the main goals? What is your message as a leader of this team to the rest of the team as you guys head into the playoffs? Uh, we just got to come up firing. Uh, the biggest thing is on our four check, you know, get pucks to the net. That's where we struggled a little bit to, uh, today at least, just getting bodies in front of the net and pucks in the net. Uh, Bowling Green was good at it, and so they capitalized. Um, if we can do that same thing and just keep our pressure and the five-on-five five stuff, we could easily go through playoffs just just fine. So yeah, This has been a great senior class. Obviously, a lot of leaders on this team as well. What has it meant to you to be a part of the senior class as you go forward? Uh, it's been great from coming in the program from where it was to now where we're, we're leaving it. It's just a monumental step for us, and I'm glad I was being a part of it, and hopefully they can keep carrying it. Like uh, Kester said earlier, uh, hopefully we can do something in the playoffs as well and make another stamp. So, And obviously recruiting has been great. It's continuing to build in this organization. If you had a message to the underclassmen, those guys that are going to take this program even further, what would that message be to them? I'll just play with heart. I mean, it's the biggest thing. As long as you have the work ethic and the, the heart to win and want to battle every day, it'll take you as, as far as you want to go. So that's what that's sort of hopefully at least our team's built on something like that. So, well, Congratulations on making playoffs and good luck on them. Thank you. Appreciate it. And we're here with Coach Mike Corbett. Coach, going to avoid the questions on, on this game. Look ahead of the playoffs because that's what everybody's obviously looking forward towards now. You don't know your opponent yet, but no matter who the opponent, what is the message to this team as you go into the playoffs? I think anybody who we're going to play, we match up pretty good against. You know, Mankato, they beat us four times, but we've had the chance to be able to beat them. I think the, our biggest thing is to, for us to be able to get rested. Um, knowing we got to play three games. We have... We have, we have uh, trouble with back-to-back nights so we got to be able to play possibly three games in a weekend so you know I think that's the biggest thing is just rest up and, and come out confident have a good week of practice come out confident and a great senior class played the last regular season home game here what kind of a senior class has this been for you because obviously a lot of leadership a lot of goals in this senior class too yeah and this is my first class I recruited so it was it's uh, it's, it's special to see these guys be able to walk out and and leave the program better than when they when they found it um, and to me that's we got a big group of kids you know with with Kester and and, and his year this year and Max has been our leading scorer for three years and and everybody's contributed these guys have really contributed this is probably one class where you look at seven guys and say wow they really contributed to the program uh, on the ice off the ice in the classroom so it's really it's 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 great to see obviously it's a big deal to make the playoffs especially for this program as you continue to build for the future what does it mean to you to have this team make the playoffs and what does it mean for the future of this organization I I think for us it's it's big you know what it's it's something we haven't done in a couple years so we want to continue to build on it we have to build on these types of things these are positive things for our program you know and what you know when playoffs happen uh, you know you never know what's gonna happen we we, we can go in there and, and we've won on the road before so we can we know we can go and win anywhere we want Coach, thank you, and congratulations on the playoffs. Thank you. I appreciate it.